today. You are listening to Medica Talks, which brings to you all the exclusive healthcare industry news, views and opinions from across the world. Hello listeners, I'm Urvashi. Today we will discuss arterial heart bypass and the advantages of the newly emerging surgical techniques. Hello Dr. Archana, welcome to our podcast for patients, caregivers and healthcare professionals at Medica Talks. What is heart bypass? Hi Urvashi. Heart bypass is a surgical procedure to restore normal blood flow to an obstructed coronary artery. In coronary artery bypass grafting, that is CABG, popularly called as heart bypass, healthy veins or arteries from the patient's body are grafted to create a bypass channel that ensures proper blood and oxygen flow to the heart. When blood flow reduces due to coronary heart diseases, these arteries or veins are often taken from your legs or forearms, are grafted to the coronary artery to let blood detour past a narrowing or blockage in this artery. When is the need to perform this surgery? To bypass or go around the obstruction caused by coronary heart artery filled with a clot or with plaque is also called as atherosclerosis. If the obstruction is not bypassed, the heart muscles beyond the obstruction is denied oxygen and nutrients leading to heart damage causing a heart attack or chest pain. What is the traditional way of performing this surgery? On pump, CABG is also called as traditional bypass surgery. The pumping and oxygenation function of the heart is taken over by a heart-lung machine during the surgery and medications are given that briefly paralyzes the heart scientifically termed as cardioplegia. This way, the heart is completely at rest while the surgeon performs the bypass surgery. What is beating heart surgery? Of pump or beating heart, CABG is also known as beating heart bypass surgery and is another method of bypass surgery. A heart lung machine is not used and the heart is not stopped with medication. Instead, the heart continues to perform its pumping and oxygenation function while the surgeons work. The surgeon stabilizes just a portion of the heart where the bypass is needed, while the remainder of the heart continues to function normally. According to the Journal of American Heart Association of Pump Bypass, is the appropriate patient, is a safe and effective as standard on pump coronary bypass surgery. And many healthcare professionals, including our surgeons, believe it may reduce the risk of stroke, bleeding and renal failure. Of pump bypass is not for everyone and there is no long-term data available about the outcome yet. However, it is highly effective surgical options which you can discuss with your doctor. Are there any new techniques in the surgery and grafts used? Thousands of patients undergo bypass surgery CABG in India every year. It is performed to bypass the blocked and narrowed arteries that supply blood to the heart. The bypass is created by using blood vessels, graft which can be an artery or a vein removed from another part of the body and grafting it across the blockage to restore blood flow to the heart. In bypass surgery, the technical skills and expertise of the operating surgeon is paramount. The success of the surgery also depends on the long-term patency of the grafts use, their quality and whether it is a live graft that can respond to the body's demand. Generally, 
in bypass surgery the syphilis veins from the leg or the radial artery from the arm are used as graft however as per several studies these grafts are prone to degenerations and blockage also just like synthetic graft they cannot respond to the needs of the body in the total arterial revascularization technique of bypass surgery the internal mammary artery that is lima and rima from the left and the right side of the chest respectively are used internal mammary artery graft are considered the best conduits these grafts are long lasting resistant to cholesterol blockage and can change as per body's demand and are also capable of self repair what are the advantages of using internal mammary artery grafts patency of the life of arterial graft is very high which translates to improve life expectancies among patients chances of recurrence of blockage are minimized because these grafts are highly resistant to fat and cholesterol build up cosmetically better no scars on hands or legs it does not involves the main heart vessels that is aorta hence prevents its associated complications like brain stroke dr archana what message would you like to give to our listeners total arterial revascularization technique is technically very demanding and time consuming it is regularly performed at very few heart centers and by a selected few cardiac surgeons This technique is completely safe and effective for diabetic and patients with multiple blockages. Total arterial revascularization using the lima and rima Y technique is considered the gold standard of bypass surgery. Thank you doctor for being a part of Medica Talks and sharing your insights. We hope that the insights that you have shared will be of great value to us. Hey listeners, I hope this podcast was beneficial for you. Don't forget to stay tuned with us for our next podcast session where we bring to you all kinds of healthcare industry news, views and opinions from around the world.